A container or a size box forces a child to be a specific width and height, no matter the size that is requested by the child widget itself. Instead of specifying for itself and a child widget a specific width and height, you could also allow the child widget to choose from a range of width and height values. In this case, the child widget tries to be bigger than the allowed maximum width and height values. Therefore, it simply takes these maximum width and height values instead. Also, if the child's width and height is smaller than the min width and height, then it will simply take this min width and height instead. And lastly, if the child width and height are inside of its parent minimum and maximum constraints, then it will simply take the child width and height that was requested. For the case that the child widget doesn't use or specify any width or height, then it will take the maximum width and height of the parent widget constraints. Even if you don't specify constraints on your own, every widget in Flutter will impose constraints on their child widgets. In this case, the scaffold imposes a screen size as a constraint on a child. Since both minimum values are zero for the width and for the height, these constraints are called loose constraints. In this case, the child widget has no width and height, therefore it will take the maximum width and height of its parent widget constraints. On the other hand, if the child widget has a width and height, then it will take these width and height since they are within the constraints. Also other widgets such as the column impose constraints on its children. For the width, the column imposes loose constraints. And for the height, unbounded constraints or also called infinite constraints. A constraint is unbounded if the max height is double infinity or if the maximum width would be double infinity. If you use instead of a column a list view, then the only difference is that the list view imposes for the min width also the screen width. If the minimum and maximum values are exactly the same for the width or also the same for the height, then these constraints are called tight constraints. Which means that only this exact single width can be used for the child width and the child width is ignored so you could also comment it out. For the height it is different, we have an unbounded constraint, which means if we comment the height out, then it will take zero height as the child widget. If for the unbounded constraint the min height is different than zero, then the child height is exactly this height. Anyway, for a list view and column the min height is always zero. Therefore it is always important to set the height for the child widgets within the list view or column widgets.